of rim protection for Court Miller, just the way in which she positionally understands where to be on the floor. Strickland driving, Courtney Williams. Cameron Young on her. Here's Jazz Thomas driving and tripped up. They call that foul on the floor. Neither coach likes this call. We can hear Bill Lambeer from across the way. Our officials today. Lindsey Allen. Allen gets called on the play. Billy Smith, one of our three officials, along with Don Hudson and Tiara Cruz. As Thomas wheels, gives to a cutting. Alyssa Thomas banks it up, rolls through. 14-10, stun down by four. Excellent two-man game off the top of the key in the middle of the floor. A good screen and rescreen by Alyssa Thomas. Those two just have an excellent connection with one another. Ball poke loose by Alyssa. It's up for grabs. Taken away by Las Vegas. And Asia Wilson has the easy two. So Asia Wilson, welcome to the WNBA. 16-10, after Wilson comes away with the first two of what you imagine will be many points in her career. Courtney Williams, nice kick out Strickland. Three is good. That's the first three of the game, and it belongs to Shakina Strickland and the Sun. Shakina Strickland shooting 41% from three last season. A big-time shot, an even better pass by Courtney Williams. Kelsey Bone, former Sun, into the game, missing that shot. Sun looking to get out. Alyssa bouncing for Strickland, drives hard on Bone and beats her to the bucket. And just like that, it's a one-point game. 16-15, Las Vegas has led by as many as 10. Sun down one. Tough shot by Coffey. Sun have a chance to take their first lead since 2-0 as Strickland runs down the long pass and the Sun set it up. Jazz off the hesitation. Threw it away. Wilson to steal. Allen trying to get ahead of the pack. Courtney Williams running her down and committing the foul. And when we come back. The WNBA. So the Sun have trailed by as many as 10. They are now within one Sarah. You never know what you're going to get on opening day. And we've gotten a lot of action and spurts so far in this game, haven't we? I'm impressed, though. There's been a lot of uh, excitement, enthusiasm, and there's always a little bit of nerves. I think the, the anxiety of finally getting things underway with all the work that you've put in. But overall, just the energy and execution by these teams. And as I mentioned before, the Sun, they've missed some shots. They haven't shot as efficiently as we would be accustomed to seeing. But the shots they're getting are very good looks. And both these teams bringing a lot handing of handing out some tips but uh her and jasmine thomas looked like looked like they could probably uh play a little baseball as well that wasn't a bad uh bad first pitch attempt there by chine i've seen much worse than that <laughs> by the way what they're looking for here is clear path they want to see if this was a clear path foul on courtney williams or not we had mentioned that lindsey allen had was trying to get ahead of the pack and in fact um they may end up indicating clear path foul on this. Maybe not. We'll soon find out as you see Bill Lambeer huddled up there on the Las Vegas bench. He's a great choice for their coach. He specializes in taking franchises that are going through rough stretches. He did it with Detroit, turned them into eventually a three-time champion, took over the New York Liberty when they were down and brought them up. He had five seasons in New York, last three 20 win seasons. And Las Vegas, only a um, eight win team last year when they were the San Antonio Stars. You know they're going to do better than eight wins this year. Well, the thing is the pieces that they have to work with, and we've talked a lot about the number one overall pick in Asia Wilson and just the absolute elite type of player that she has the potential to be. But we go back to players like Kelsey Plum and Kayla McBride who are playing overseas the Turkish League Championships right now. Isabel Harrison injured right now. Mariah Jefferson recovering from offseason knee surgery. So those are just some of the players and Early on already, we've seen what Tamara Young could bring to the table, Nia Coffey. I really like Lindsay Allen, who's at the line, the point guard out of Notre Dame. And she's a player who she defensively can bring a lot to a team, but also just offensively doesn't make a lot of stakes. 
mistakes. Excellent facilitator. She can work the pick and roll very well. So he he has talent too. So he's a guy who you know can implement his schemes and his systems and how this team wants to play and bring some toughness and physicality, but also a good amount of talent here for this Las Vegas group. Well, after that clear path, Fallon, the free throws made by Allen. The Sun have it back, and Jonquil Jones is in the game for the first time today. Be curious to see what we can get out of her today. Missed all the training camp. Well, there's a quick answer, isn't it? <laughs> a big smile on her face, and Jonquil Jones spent the offseason playing in China, where she averaged nearly 29 points over 18 rebounds. She played in 33 games, and yeah, her first practice was Friday. So I think just getting used to and integrated to exactly what the team is doing on both ends of the floor. Of course, we're excited to see her on the floor together with Chinea Gumake, how they add some rim protection. That long lead pass taken away by Wilson. Shoni Schimmel, new member of this Las Vegas team, another player who used to play for Lambeer in New York, is in the game now. Looking over here at... Nia Coffey, she's limping around, still on the floor. Jisoo Park, first-year player, only 19 years old out of South Korea, is also on the floor for Las Vegas. And Bill Lambeer wants to um, call for a timeout, and he asks for a 30, which becomes a full timeout with 2.45 to go in this first quarter. Full, full timeout. Granted here to Bill Lambeer, who talks things over on the on the sideline. And as I mentioned, I saw Nia Coffey limping around. And that's one thing this team can't afford. They Their depth is not there. We have talked about how they're without Kelsey Plum, without Kayla McBride. Isabel Harrison is out. And uh, Mariah Jefferson is also out. She's out with a knee injury. And for the Connecticut Sun, it's good to see John Quell Jones here because a lot of Connecticut Sun fans were wondering if she was going to make it in time. She was home taking care of some personal matters and some she need, needed to take care of some visa paperwork. Didn't arrive until Thursday, but they're glad to see her in the house today, and those numbers explain why. Well, it's unbelievable to look at the jump that she's made over the course of last season and you know I, I think we could look at the points per game um, which is certainly bodes well for what she adds offensively for the Sun but to me more than anything is her rebounding and it's the activity around the rebounding anticipation her getting herself in the right positions and knowing size and leverage and for John Paul Jones she has still got so much upside and she is just continuing to grow and to really learn exactly what Kurt Miller is demanding of her. And I think we'll see some of that here today. But as you mentioned, the fact that she's just gotten her first practice in Friday, getting into game shape is something that you can't really overestimate just how much that takes out of you. And it's the adrenaline, it's the understanding to play on every single possession and going all out as we know John Cole Jones does. So that might take a little bit of time considering that a lot of these players have been at training camp and have gotten that type of game and gotten into playing shape over the course of the last few weeks. That was a nice pass from the rookie Park to the rookie Wilson. Three-point lead for the Aces. Off-balance shot by Alyssa Thomas goes down. Again, a one-point game. Alyssa now has four. The Sun, after a very cold shooting start to this game, we're beginning to heat up. In fact, getting close to 50% from the field here in the first quarter. Park forces that up over Agumike, hauls it in. Here come the Sun again, trying to take the lead for the first time since 2 0. But Park breaks up the pass, and then a loose ball foul is going to be called. And Park exasperated after the call goes against her. I think that just shows the difference, and this will develop, but. The foot quickness of John Quell Jones in the pass, not over the outstretched arms of the 6'5 Park, but Park, her 